What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be taking a look at a little title called Fata Deum. Uh, this is a god game in the vein, in fact I'm going to pause this up real quick. Uh, this is a god game in the vein of like black and white, but it's a little bit more of a tug of war cage match from the demo that I've played twice so far. Uh, so basically this is a game where you are a god. You can decide if you want to be a good god, if you want to be an evil god and you have a group of people that believe in you, and your job is to maintain their belief and keep them on your side. There is also another god in your realm, and you are directly competing with that guy. He's gonna be trying to sabotage you along the way, he's gonna be trying to steal your followers, you're gonna be trying to do the exact same thing. Now while that's happening, your followers are basically automated, they do what they're gonna do. You can give them guidance, but they're going to be building a society, and based on the decisions that you make, they might be more warlike, they might be more peaceful, they might be more into libraries, they might be more into stabbing and crossbows and arbalests. It really just kind of depends on how you played the game. And so the developers have pushed out this demo and they sent it on over to me. We're going to spend about 25 minutes with it here today and see if it's something you wanted to add to your wish list, otherwise pass on. If after watching this video you wanted to get Fata Deum, Fata Deum, I don't know how to say it, dude, honestly. If you wanted to get the game for yourself, you can get it down below in the description, as always. And then on top of that, you can also find a link to my Twitch stream and my Discord, just in case you wanted to come by and hang out live and pick my brain. So... With this game, a couple things we need to be aware of. So in the top left-hand corner, we've got violence, which is who we're up against, and this is us. And this is how many followers we have. So at the moment, things that we can do. I told them to build a building over here. I inspired somebody. So they're building a tavern. I feel like inspiring people to get drunk is a good way to get them on your side. And then over here, I inspired them, since this is the only way into our city. I inspired them to make a guard tower right here. So there's going to be like extra soldiers and stuff hanging out. Over here in the bottom right, we've got our mana. Uh, we've got yin. We've got yang. It depends on whether you do good or bad things. Uh, but your mana is recharged by the amount of people that believe in you. So this is basically your ammo is generated for miracles by how many people are like into you and are like, yeah, that's my god, dude. Uh, you can tell how many people believe in you by looking at the roofs of the buildings. Uh, so anything that is blue is someone that believes in me and prays to me and is giving mana to me. So like this little guy right here who's kind of on this little precipice, we can actually like help him out. And so let's see if maybe we can empower this guy. Yeah, there we go. And as you can see, the little ring around his name, it's now blue. That means he believes in us. Now, I don't know if that's his house right there. I just assumed that since he was standing next to it, that it was his house. But I might have been wrong about that. I do need to track down people that don't believe in me. So it looks like this guy right here does not believe in me. Let's go ahead and give this guy some divine inspiration. If you wanted to be evil, you can press the space bar and you can divert people and make them into murderers and you can oppress them. It's up to you what you want to do. I'm going to play this one good for right now. Uh, so I'm going to inspire this guy and see if maybe that makes them believe in me. Uh, alas. Unfortunately, they still believe in Mother Nature. Alright. Well, then maybe I'll give you a few more belief points like so. Oh, that was shockingly more expensive. Okay, I tried. I did my best. Apparently, this one's a tough nut to crack. Uh, this person right here is not willing to sell out their beliefs at all. They're not even remotely trying. But I refilled their productivity, so they should go back out and do some stuff. Now, during the daytime, you can use active miracles, uh, you can hold down the C key and click on trees, and you will gather trees just like in black and white, uh, and you can actually like donate these resources to the town itself. There is one little guy right here, he's got a prayer that he wants answered, and so I'm going to see if maybe I can answer that prayer. Uh, let's go ahead and see what he wants. So what does he want? Uh, he wants to be inspired. Okay. I inspire you. I grant you the gift of divine inspiration. Ah, yes, may you be inspired. We really got to work on that Helia character. I don't know, maybe we should smite her. Everybody else in town is getting down with this whole, like, splatter cat is my god thing. Except for Helia. She's the only one that's just like the sole holdout, like, no, no, no. I believe in trees and softly blowing breezes and frogs that hang out after dark. And I'm like, well... Believe in me, I'm way more awesome than that. 
So 27% of the people in our village believe in Mother Nature, and 72% of them believe in us. Uh, the resources for this town, we can actually see them all right here with our god powers. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, the game is divided into two phases. During the day, you can actively collect, and you can work on things, and you can give people blessings. And then at night, you get these building spots right here. And effectively, if you have the right amount of materials, you can inspire people to build various buildings that will have positive effects on overall society uh, in these spots. And so, like, the tavern over here, it gives our workers a lot more energy so that they can continue being productive throughout the day without getting tired. We have a farm that gives us food. We've got a watchtower, so we're defended right now. There's a woodcutter, which gives us 10 free wood per worker that works there. Uh, there are a number of people praying right now. Let's see here. I'll be eternally grateful to you if we loot a village or outpost. So, like, you want to go raid and pillage. You're about that Viking life. Okay, I get it. Uh, you right here, what do you want? Let's see here. Oh, they all want me to... Is this, like, a communal decision? Is democracy being served right now? Everybody wants to go raid and pillage a village? I mean, I guess I could. I mean, there is a village right down the hill. I don't know how many watch to... I mean... I don't know how many watchtowers and stuff they have, but I guess we could go loot the people next door? This feels like what is colloquially known as a dick move. Oh, so I've got to have more yin in order to raid people, so i got to do some evil stuff. i got to have 50 evil bubbles in order to do that. Okay, fair enough. Then I will not do that thing, even though it is being hotly requested. Uh, what other stuff can we build? So as of right now, it looks like we can increase fertility so we can get the landscape ready for farm boys and girls. Okay, how's our food situation looking? We have 30. We can make a graveyard that will allow people to rest in peace. Reduced mana cost due to many believers in this settlement, but we need stone for that, and we don't have stone. Uh, we can plan a residence. Uh, we can build some shacks. Uh, so that people can come over here and rest, but it's not a very nice place to rest, so unfortunately we're a little bit stuck. This game does have kind of an RPG aspect to it. The more people that believe in you, you level up as a god. And so for right now, we need two more prayer points, and we need four more followers. I think we're going to have to dip out to people in the neighboring town in order to get those followers. I don't see any other way to get around it. We could build a school... That might be nice. Schooling is good. Yeah, build a school over here, right behind the tavern. That's where a school goes. That's normal residential zoning. That'll work, or commercial zoning. Is put to place where we raise children, uh, right behind our tavern. All right, well, we can skip straight to morning with our god powers, because that's just how rad we are. Uh, we need to get some more followers, and we need to get some more mana. I do want to get Helia converted on over. I don't know where she's at. But she's the project of the day. We need Helia to believe in us. It's just, it's a weird obsession, okay? I've become a god, and there's one person in town that's just like, N uh I don't want to believe in you. And it bothers me now, okay? It's been eating at me. I couldn't get any good god sleep last night, and so I gotta fix it. Uh, where is Helia at? I don't really have a whole lot of utilities to find the people that I want to find. okay because like I need mana anyways there she is you you will believe I inspire you he's still not believing wow maybe I should try some evil stuff on her dude I don't think goodness is working here I feel like goodness I've given her I have given her so much attention over the last couple days compared to everybody else in this village, and she is just not getting the message. I'm like, some people just born not to believe, I guess. I'm literally showering particulate magic down upon you. Has nature ever done that? No, it hasn't. Oh, no. He's diverting someone? Okay. Uh, I'm going to take some of my mana down to this village over here and just see if I can convert a person or two. Oh my god. Okay, we overzoomed. All right, you. I spread love unto you, sir. Yeah! 
and now he believes in us. The ring changed color. Good. So we've got one extra believer over here. We need two more followers in order to get up to the next level, and we need further prayer points. I think we get prayer points by granting people's prayers. So, like, when you see the little hands up above their head, exactly, like that right there. This person wants to be empowered. So we'll go ahead and empower this person to get their prayer point. There we go. So we got their prayer point, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're all good to... Oh, no, dude, the evil god is doing something to my little dude over here. He believes in violence? That's not even an ideological structure. Like, on what foundation do you believe in a concept of violence? Are you out of your mind? Ah, oh, dude. And then he just lightninged one of my guys. Oh, you absolute jerk. How could you? Do I have any god powers? Can I go? How can I smite him back? That's it. I'm gonna smite one of his guys. Hold on. I gotta smite one of his villagers. It's only fair. Where your villagers at? Hold on. Where is he? There's one. All right. Uh, how do I strike you with lightning? I oppress you. Feel the shackles of my oppression. Yeah, your productivity has been cratered. Ha! <laughs> have fun gathering no wood, douche. All right, I'm coming back over here, and I've got to, like, fix this. Some of my people got handily... Oh, cool, we got some, some book learnings going on right now. I don't know how knowledge benefits me, but apparently we're accumulating fuel units right now. So 5% of my people believe in violence. That's a bummer. I do wish that they had, like, a little... So, like, when I click on the town center, it gives you this very, very elegant little ring right here to figure out who believes in you and who does not. If you clicked on the segment, though, I'd like it if it gave you a list so that you could easily find people. Uh, my guard wants to be inspired. Okay. I inspire you, sir. Yes, enjoy your inspiration. All right, we're almost out of daylight, but I've got a little bit of mana left. I'd like to convert somebody to believe in me over here. Yes. I will send a vision of good things to my follower. There we go. So now we got nine followers. We need one more follower, and then we will gain the ability. Let's see here. Oh, we'll be able to strike with lightning. Gotcha. So I guess, like, the bad guy got access to that spell before we did because we haven't even leveled up yet, and he we can see how many followers he has. And so, like... I don't know how he has the ability to strike people with lightning, and I don't when he's, like, lower level or the same level as I am. But, you know, it would make sense that an evil god would be over there in his territory cheating. Like, I'm just going to write that one off to kind of, like, thematics. Like, an evil god would definitely be the one to use kind of, like, god hacks in order to mess with my life. Uh, we do have a prayer over here. They want me to build a temple, and we would get three points. I mean, we could. How hard is it to build a temple? We don't have the resources for it. But we could get the resources for it. Let's do it. I wonder if I get that after it's done, though. Because I was kind of relying on the fact that I was going to get those points right there. I do have, like, a little bit of mana left and I don't know if I can do much with it. Yeah, I can't really do a whole lot. Wait, you don't believe in me either? Why don't you believe in me? I feel so needy, dude. Who knew that the job of being a deity would be such a needy process? Like, I, I really feel... Oh, cool, we leveled up, I think. Yeah, we did. Uh, so we've got new powers... And then we can carry 10 stone, which means that we can drag it back to our town. All right, let's get some stone. Can I get this stone right here, or can I not get that stone because it's not inside my territory? A quarry can be built here. All right, do I have any stone, like, up inside the confines of this area that maybe I can get my hands on? So I can gather wood, but it's not letting me gather stone. Now you can go ahead. Benefits for leveling up.
Oh, maybe I gotta get to level three before I can gather stone. I thought I had to be level, uh, I figured I had to be, you know, like level two. All right, well, let's go. I don't really have a whole lot of mana right now. Mana game kind of weak at the moment. Mana game, little tiny bit weak right now. I do think we need to spend our time converting people down here to believe in us. I think somebody new moved into town, which is why Mother Nature is on the rise. What is that? Heal? Oh, I can make them feel better, and I can make them fall in love as well. If you put it down right like the way I... W oh, you can tell from the color of their name when you mouse over them. There it is. Okay. I didn't notice that. All right. So, let's see here. Protect against wonder. Which one gives me the most belief? Because I really need this person to believe in me. Divert you. One belief. I'm really... I don't have a whole lot that I can do here. It's going to make this person believe in me. I guess I'll make you fall in love. Powerfully. Like head over heels in love. There we go. Dude, are you casting spells on my people again? Oh, he's striking his own people with lightning. He seems to be having a lot more fun with this god process than I am. Uh, Ingi. What's up with you, bro? Like, I, I need you to... So you believe in violence. Is that what it is? All right. Well, then I curse you by making you unlovable. That's right. If you choose other gods over me, nary shall your ween ever require sustenance. <laughs> That's you, you are now untouchable. That's what happens. You get struck by lightning by another god and you believe in him and I take away your ability to procreate. That's it. I am, I am the vengeful and cruel god of erectile dysfunction. All right, so let's go over here. <laughs> and uh, we'll take a look and see. Jenna over here believes in us. Egrid does not. If I could get Egrid to believe in me, I think that would be pretty cool. There we go. Egrid now believes in me. I have many followers by comparison to my enemy. However, mana is still arriving at somewhat of a disappointing trickle. Uh, what did you want, Jenna? Jenna wishes to be empowered. I empower you. Enjoy. Thank you for your prayer point. This transaction was beneficial for all parties. I need five more prayer points, and I need eight more fo- You bastard. Did you just strike my building with lightning? I believe someone has been struck with lightning, but I know not who. It said there's a prayer point available. What do you want? You want to be empowered? All right. I empower you. Enjoy being empowered. Oops. I right-clicked. I should have known better. Right-clicking is dangerous in this game. Uh, so the control scheme in this game is actually a little bit weird, and it takes some getting used to. Uh, you right-click to instantly jet over to an area. But also, if you left-click on a thing, you right-click to get out of the menu. And so, like, it takes a little bit of getting used to because it doesn't use standardized, like, RTS controls for, like, focus and fiddling with stuff. What did you just do to my person? You drained their energy? That's pretty mean. Okay, so I gotta cast like protect. I gotta I gotta cast protection spells on people when they get blasted like that. I think that's really what's gonna happen. Uh, who else do we have around here that does not believe in me? I inspire you. Believe in the splatter. Oh, you still don't believe in me? But why though, dude? I swear to God, if you don't stop casting spells on my people, you are just the worst. All right, so loot a villager outpost, build a barracks. Yeah, I could probably do that. Let's build a barracks. I think it's a good idea because then we can go invade the evil god and just, like, punish him for all of the mean stuff that he's been doing to me. Because trust me, I'm just trying to have fun in my sandcastle over here, and he keeps coming around kicking it. I will point out the observation that being an evil god does seem like a lot more fun than being a good god, and I feel like maybe I have thrown my horse into the wrong race. But, like, maybe I'll deal with that later. 
I think I have enough evil god points to tell my people to go raid a neighboring settlement. Oh, I gotta have the barracks first. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, what does this person want? I beseech thee, loot a village. I beseech thee, build a barracks. Okay, we're working on the barracks right now. The barracks has already been selected. So we'll get that going. Okay, so how many people believe in me right now? 7% of my people believe in violence. All right, listen, man. Listen. Listen. I need you... What are you doing? Where is that being casted? What are you doing? Okay, he's casting it on his own people. All right, I'll, what are you doing right now? Like, I'm starting to get jumpy, dude. This evil god is always coming around here and, like, messing with me. All right, so I can't cast the spread love inside my own settlement. But what I can do to inspire belief is maybe I'll gather up wood today a little bit and just add to the communal stockpile. Uh, because I think every single wood that we drop into the stockpile gains me belief. And maybe that's like a mana positive way. Because like I'm spending lots and lots of mana right now. Trying to combat the evil guy converting my people on over. And so anyways. This may be a very, very easy way to get a whole bunch of mana. Or a whole bunch of belief. There we go. How much did that help? Did it help a lot? Or did it only help a little bit? Oh, only 6% of my people believe... I got 1% from that entire gathering spree. Let's do it again. Apparently, I've become god of this village just to help them with their daily chores. That's... The essence of being a good god is just helping people with their chores, I guess. Okay, so I want to use some of this excess mana to maybe convert more people in this town to my religion. Uh, so let's go ahead and spread love right here. There we go. New follower. Oh, wow. They all believe in me. Sweet, dude. Apparently, people are, like, doing evangelism or something for me and just making this easier. Well, I tried. Apparently, this guy is our neighborhood skeptic. That guy believes in me now, though, so that's good. I'm just going to try to get mad followers around here. I've got so much mana that I feel like I might as well just go for it. Okay, that person also does not believe in me. Fair enough. I just spent like a stupid amount of mana trying to seduce you into the fold. There we go. There's another follower. How close am I? I need two more followers and I need four more prayer points. All right. Uh, there's a prayer point right there. This person wants to be inspired. I think I could probably handle that. Yeah! There we go. I inspire you, my friend. Thou hast been inspired. Thank you for your prayer point. Uh, the camera gets a little bit weird in this game. I get the feeling it's anchored to, like, the altitude that the landscape is at. Uh, so it doesn't, like, auto-adjust. I think they should add that, though. Although it doesn't seem to happen. Ah, oh, dude, what are you doing? I protect you. So he's trying to infuse fear on one of my people. That's good. I blocked him. I was like, ting, and I put up like a magical alloy shield right there. I protect you. And then I heal you. There we go. I don't think the heal worked very well. Maybe it's like a maybe it's like a slow burning regeneration. I have noticed that the enemy AI, like the bad god, he goes on offense like hard every time you spend all your mana. So like the AI is aware of how much mana you have and they are watching what you do and they will like go on offense basically whenever you overdo it. What does this guy want? Uh, inspire. Okay, I can inspire. There you go. Perfect. Okay, so how are we doing over here at the village center? You know, we're, we're struggling a little bit. Uh, we have a few holdouts that just refuse to believe in me. Um, they just will not get with the program here. It has been a moderate annoyance as a god where I'm just like, what can I do realistically? What activities can I do to make you believe? And they're just sitting over there like, I have nothing. I don't know. I just, I just... 
I don't like the idea of formalized Splattercat ruling my life. Uh, loot a village or outpost. I think we would have been able to do that if I had used my daily powers to do more evil stuff. Alas, I'm still hitching my horse to doing good things, so, eh, way she goes. I need to convert this place over and get them to believe in me. That's what I really need to do. I mean, you guys do... You guys do have a barracks. Unfortunately, I don't have enough, like, evil points right now to go ahead and raid somebody next to me. I guess we'll just take it back to the morning time. Oh no, we only have one day left in our demo, dude. And I haven't even got to gather stone yet. Alright, I need to spend today answering prayers. Um, because if we can get three more prayer points, we can gather stone and we can make quarries. And then that'll make things a lot more simple. But I do like the kind of tug-of-war aspect this game has. Where, like, you sort of have to be watching what the alternate AI god is doing. And looking for opportunities to, like, really mess with his operation, basically. And he's doing, like, the same thing to you. So, like, on a surface level, the game is, like, sort of an idle city builder. But, you know, if you underplay or overplay your hand, the other gods can capitalize on it. Uh, we got a prayer point right here. They want to be inspired. There you go. Inspiration is thine. This person wants to be empowered. There you go. I give you the rippling muscles of the splatter god. I need my prayer points. You still want to be empowered more? I already empowered you, though. I empowered you so much. Like, I empowered the booty off them cheeks. see if we can get a follower over here. Uh, no follower, even though we gave her plus 13 belief. We tried. We tried really, really hard, but unfortunately, sometimes people just don't go for it. Sometimes the sales pitch is just not good enough. Uh, we need to build some buildings down here in this secondary town, too. Maybe inspire people to believe. I would assume that's probably what the temple is going to do. Is like, so long as there's a temple inside your village, it slowly converts people to your side. That's, that's what I'm guessing it does, but I don't know that for a fact. There we go. How much do these guys believe in me? So, you know, about two-thirds of them believe in me. Okay. Well, we can keep we can keep working on it. But this is Fata Diem. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, there's not a whole lot to this demo right now because it's pretty limited in the scope and scale of what you can actually do uh, with the demo for right now. But I will put a link down below. What does this guy want? Wants to be inspired. All right, I inspire you. I heavily inspire you because I desperately want your approval and also your prayer point. Which apparently I also did not get. Oh, he wanted like an inspire one. I think it told it tells you the intensity that wants you to cast it at. Okay. That's fine. It didn't cost us that much mana anyways. Like I did see the number shift. Yeah, it goes up. Like every time I drop off a load of wood, it goes up by like one or two percent. It's not like crazy, crazy amounts of belief that you get for helping out with the gathering. But it is some belief. But yeah, this is Fata Diem, dude. I hope you guys liked it. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. My observations about this demo is that the camera is a little bit wonky sometimes when going up sheer cliffs or, like, navigating high altitudes from a low altitude. Uh, there's also, like, the camera control scheme takes a little bit of getting used to as well because it's kind of, like, different than anything I've, I've seen before. Still, I'm always in the market for god games, and it seems like they've got the sound and the soundtrack and the visuals going for them. And if this is the demo, we can assume that there's going to be more refinement when the actual official game comes out. And so I'll keep an eye on it. I'll see y'all later. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Tell me how I did as a god down below. Bye-bye.